Hey friends, so I have been working with data for over 17 years and I used to get the same question over and over from friends, family and colleagues at work. Bara, what are the courses that I actually should take to become a data analyst? So now in order to answer this question, instead of guessing, I have decided actually to try the courses. So I started researching, testing and jumping between a lot of platforms. And at the end, I ended up having hundreds of tabs open on my browser. So now the best way to answer this question is actually not guessing. That's why I have decided to try them. And to be honest, I felt like I'm walking through a jungle of courses. It was a total chaos. There are thousands of data courses out there. Udemy alone has like nearly 900 courses for data analytics. And I really felt like most of the courses were made by people that never worked in real projects or in real companies. Too much theory, no hands-on projects, completely disconnected from the real world. It's really no wonder that people like you get lost with those platforms and courses. And you want to hear another hard truth? Most of the people don't make it to the end of the course. In fact, according to Harvard and MIT study, only 5% of learners actually complete online courses, which means 95% of people actually give up by the end. And what this tells us, most of the online courses are actually not engaging, boring, and not delivering the value. And most of learners are actually wasting tons of energy, money, and time jumping between courses from one platform to another. Because of that, I have done a lot of brainstorming and researching in order to come up with an overview of the top five courses for data analysts that I would personally take if I have to start over again, or I'm gonna recommend it for close friends like you. So my friends, let's dive in. Now to find the right course, you have to understand what data analysts actually do. So let's have this quick overview. First thing is that we start always by collecting the data from the sources, whether it comes from databases, files, APIs. And then after that, we have to prepare and clean the data by removing duplicates, fixing errors, and removing nulls. So we want to get the data ready for analysis. And the next step, you're gonna go and start exploring and analyzing the data to understand the content and to find insights that are important for the business. And the last step is that you're gonna go and do data visualizations. So you're gonna go and build like a dashboard where you're gonna have some filters and charts to present the data for the business users. And finally, you're gonna go and communicate the results and the dashboard for the business users, which is gonna help them make better decisions using data and insights that you have provided. So this is the process and the skills that you have to learn. But of course, you need tools in order to do the job, right? And for that analyst, it is very clear and simple. You need majorly two things. Most of the companies works with databases. So that means you have to learn SQL or something people call it SQL. And the other tool, you need data visualization tools or BI tools. And currently the leaders are Power BI and Tableau. So this is the process, the skills and the tools that you have to master as a data analyst. Now the question is how to learn those stuff. Now here's the thing, not everyone learns the same way and people have different needs and different goals. That's why you have actually two different paths on how to do it. The first one, you can follow the certification path. You have to pick a platform like Coursera or Datacamp, then follow their structure and roadmap to do the courses and the projects. And at the end, you're going to take an exam and get certified. So it is clear, structured and guided. And at the end, you're going to get industry recognized certifications. But of course, it's going to cost you money. And now the second one is going to be the free one. It is the self learning. So you have to build your own roadmap. You're going to learn from YouTube, blogs and GitHub. And then you're going to be doing a lot of projects in order to build your portfolio. So this one is free, flexible, and you have the full control. But the high risk here, especially if you are a beginner, it is really easy to get lost and overwhelmed if you don't have a well-structured roadmap. And of course, you can go and mix stuff where you do YouTube courses and then apply and do the exams to get certified. And now, of course, my friend, you have to look at this and make decision which path you're gonna follow. And what I will be doing now, I'm gonna show you the top courses for each path. So let's start with the certification path. 
Okay, so now about the certifications, there is something really important to keep in mind that not all certifications are the same. And mainly you have two types of certifications. The first one is certifications of completion. Like the one that you're gonna get from Udemy, for example. Those certifications are totally fine if you want to share it in LinkedIn or maybe to share it as well at your work to tell everyone in your team that you have completed the following courses. But they don't mean anything for the recruiters and they don't have heavy weight on your resume that's why if you are searching for a job and you want to get hired you have to target the second type of certifications you want to get the industry recognized certifications you want to get certified like from google or microsoft platform they carry a real weight on your resume and they are recognized by recruiters and hiring managers and sometimes they even ask about it so if someone is selling you certifications in their platform you have to understand which type you are getting and focus on getting certified so if you want to get hired pay attention to which type you are getting from the platform and always target to get certified from the big tech companies all right let's start with one of the most popular certification out there we have the google data analytics professional certificates on coursera this one is crazy look at the official numbers there are over 3 million learners have enrolled for it and at the same time it has 4.8 stars rating from over 160,000 reviewers which tells you enough how this program is trusted and widely recognized and the fact that is designed by google is very important because it gonna gives your CV really heavy weight once the recruiter sees Google, it's gonna be immediately trusted and recognized. The structure of this course is really clean and professional. You're gonna have first the foundations about the data, how to clean up and prepare the data using SQL, how to analyze data and answer questions, and you're gonna learn how to work with SQL, Tableau, and as well, you're gonna end up doing few projects that are really nice for your portfolio. So if you want a clean roadmap, this one is one of the best places to start okay moving on to the next certification as well from big tech company this one you have microsoft and here we have two important certifications if you get them you're gonna really stand out at the crowd as a data analyst so the first one and this one is huge we have microsoft power bi data analyst certification also known as pl300 as we learned data visualization skills is one of your core skills as a data analyst and currently one of the best tools on the world is power bi it is widely used in many companies in the world and this is the best certifications that you can get in order to prove that you have the skills to get the job so with the pl300 you're gonna start learning all the skills that you need and by the way you gonna find the pl300 as requirements in many job descriptions from many companies so in order to get this certification from microsoft you have of course to pay for it it's gonna cost you around 165 dollars so you're gonna do the pl300 exam where they're gonna test your abilities of how you clean and module the data how you do data transformations using docs how you build interactive advanced dashboards so at the end, you're going to get these amazing industry recognized certifications by Microsoft. It costs money, but I have a tip for you that I'm going to tell you later. Now, the second certification from Microsoft, we have the Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals certification or called DP. 900 this one as well is very relevant for data analysts and at the same time it is beginner friendly so it's all about the fundamentals about the data the basics of sql and queries and how to store the data and process it azure cloud so again you have to show an evidence that you have understanding about data and sql and this certification is really amazing for that now about working with azure i think it is optional for data analysts and having this skill working on the cloud is usually a bonus on your resume so this one is a little bit cheaper it's gonna cost you around 100 dollars but again globally recognized certification from microsoft so those two certifications power bi and sql from microsoft it is perfect combination you can prove for anyone that you have the skills that is needed for the job
Okay, so those are the Microsoft certifications, but of course the question is, what are the courses that gonna prepare you for the exams and for the skills behind those certifications? And here where Datacam comes in. Datacam platform is actually partnered with Microsoft in order to give you a discount 50% on Microsoft certifications. So instead of paying $165, you're gonna end up paying half of it, so around $82. And of course, not only that, you will be subscribing to a learning platform that means you're gonna have a solid structured roadmap that takes you step by step in all the skills that are needed to become a data analyst and here actually i recommend two tracks the first one is the data analyst track in power bi this one is actually designed to prepare you for the pl300 exam and by the way, everything gonna run directly on your browser so you don't have to go and install any tool locally. All the data sets are prepared for you and easy to access. And the platform focuses not only on theory, but it is loaded with exercises and real life projects. This is of course amazing in order to build a portfolio. So once you complete the whole roadmap in DataCamp, you will be ready to take an exam. And of course, you're gonna be paying half of the price. And if you do well in the exam, at the end, you can get certified by Microsoft for Power BI. The second track that I recommend is the Associate Data Analyst in SQL. This one gonna build the foundations for you on how to work with the data using SQL, how to write queries, join tables, clean up and analyze the data. And of course, it is loaded with exercises and projects. There is no need to install any servers and databases or find data for the course. Everything is prepared for you in the browser. You can directly start practicing. So those two tracks gonna cover up all the core skills that you need to be a data analyst and as well gonna prepare you for the exams by Microsoft. And the big advantage here for total beginners, everything is tailored in a structured roadmap step by step to help you in this journey. By the way, my friends, all the links for the courses I'm mentioning in this video is available in the description. So far, we have talked about Google, Microsoft, but now how about the other big players in data analytics? We have Tableau, right? Tableau is one of the most widely used tools for data visualizations and business intelligence in industry like finance, consulting, marketing. And with Tableau, you can do really advanced stuff compared to Power BI. So now again, what we're gonna do, we want to get certified directly by the vendor. So we want to get this exact certification, Salesforce Tableau Data Analyst. It is currently costing $200, but it is designed for at least intermediate level. That means you have to have some experience in Tableau in order to get certified. And of course, this certification is industry recognized one. Now the question is, how am I gonna learn Tableau in order to apply for this exam? The first option is to follow the official resources by Tableau and to buy their courses, which can offer you a full clear structure in order to learn Tableau and as well can prepare you for the exams. Or the second option actually learn it from me i have a full complete tableau course 20 hours that's gonna take you really from zero to hero in tableau you can find it of course in youtube or if you want to have a progress and to have structured course you can as well buy the one in the Udemy. And by the way, I'm really proud to tell you that this year I got the title of Tableau Ambassador. I'm really proud of it, so thank you Salesforce. And as well, last year I have been recognized by Tableau as a leader in data community. So this is really nice. If you are targeting a company where they are working with Tableau, this is the one certificate that you have to target. Okay, so now let's move to the final and the new star in data analytics world. We have Databricks. Databricks has quickly becoming one of the biggest players in the modern tech stack in many aspects in data engineering, data analytics, data science, AI, machine learning, and their certifications are getting more and more weight and getting a lot of attention. The best one that you can target is the Datapricks Certified Data Analyst Associates. So actually you're gonna learn how to work with data using SQL on the cloud. Now, of course, in order to prepare for the exam, you have to train and learn about the Databricks platform. So they have a course called Data Analysis with Databricks. Currently, the exam is costing around $200 
and one option is to do the courses in the platform itself so you have course called data analysis with databricks it is expensive it's gonna cost you around one thousand dollars but it is well structured and it's gonna prepare you for the exam to get certified of course this is very expensive but the other option is that you go to other platform like the data camp and there you can pick the track data analyst in databricks where it is fully structured in order to prepare you for the exam and by the way myself i do a lot of interviews for data analysts and data engineers and i usually check whether they are certified by databricks since i'm using the platform all right friends so that's all about the path of the certifications and those are the top certifications and courses that i recommend but now the thing is not everyone can afford those certifications and others don't need at all certifications like for example if you are already working in a company and you would like to learn new skills you are upskilling you just want to learn completely for free so now we come to the second pass for self learners that is totally free let's dive in first of all i'm really sorry i'm gonna be pious where i'm gonna recommend my stuff so first of all you're gonna go to my channel and start with this video how i would become a data analyst in 2025 i explained to you things in details like what is a data analyst and then i gave you a full roadmap using notion step by step by all the skills and the tools that you have to learn you have a structured well roadmap for you in youtube and of course if you want to change a little stuff you can go and do it using notion so once you have the full roadmap then go deep dive into tableau and i have for you full free 20 hours course explaining everything about tableau and once you are done with tableau I have for you the second very important course for data analysts. I have for you full 30 hours of SQL end to end. I really don't expect that you have any knowledge about SQL. So we're going to start with the beginner, then intermediate, and then we're going to end up with the advanced level. So with that we have covered the two core skills for data analytics. And then you can find in my channel five portfolio data analytics projects using SQL and Tableau, where I'm gonna show you exactly the same steps that I do in real projects. At the end, if you want to level up, of course, you can start learning about Python. I have currently Python playlist where I have covered all the basics for Python, for both data engineering and analytics. So with that, I have really the whole package for you in my channel. But of course, I am not the only one that is covering data topics and content in YouTube. There are really other amazing YouTubers that are making amazing content. Like for example, Locke Paros. He has really amazing courses about Power BI, SQL, Excel. Or you can follow Alex the Analyst. He is a professional in data analytics. And if you want to be a professional in Tableau, follow the nicest guy in the world tim tableau this guy knows everything about tableau and he is one of the leaders on the data community so if you are interested to get certified with tableau i really recommend to follow his channel and check all his videos they are all gold mine another great and nice guy is motion he as well has a really strong channel where you're gonna get a lot of advices tips and tricks and best practices about data analytics and if you want to learn programming languages, I recommend Coding with Mosh. He is a big player in coding in YouTube and he has amazing courses. I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of the content that I find in YouTube and the one that I'm making, they have higher quality than the one that are sold in the market. Be careful, not always something with the price means it has higher quality than the free one in YouTube. So now I'm getting out of cafe. That's why we have to do a recap and final thoughts. Yes, yes. Yes, yes! So as you can see, we don't have like one path that suits everyone. We have different paths depends on the situation and the scenario that you are in. So for example, if you want to get hired, currently the job market is really disaster. I will be targeting to get those industry recognized certifications from Google, Microsoft, Databricks, Tableau. They are really a huge plus in your resume. And if I cannot afford it, then I'm going to do any other job in order to collect the money to do the exams. And maybe I will be following some YouTube tutorials to prepare myself to do the exams this really reminds me of a story from my history where i wanted to learn german in order to come here and work and to be honest the courses to learn german was very expensive and i was only able to cover the cost for the exams so guess what i have learned this language completely from youtube for free i reached the level of p2 completely alone in youtube and using some books and i have passed the exam and guess what i was able to join a university and work here 
completely self-taught. I don't recommend it, but it was possible. And this was before like 17 years, not like now. There are like hundreds of courses maybe in the internet about German language. If you can afford it, you don't have to suffer like this because it is risky. Instead, go to one of those platforms. They have like well-structured roadmap and then get certified. So my friends, still my goal is to make as much as I can free content in YouTube. If you like this type of content, then follow me. So subscribe, like and comment. And as well, I've been very active in LinkedIn. So I'm posting all the ideas that comes in my mind about the work, about some advices for data engineering and data analysts. So follow me in LinkedIn. And as well, you can follow my blogs. I write an article every week about those topics. So subscribe for my newsletter. Actually, that's it. Nothing left to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.